Hello and welcome to 3510 Bearwood Court. Uh, this is home is located on the east side of Indianapolis, uh, just off of German Church, north of 30th, almost out to the Cumberland area, and just a few minutes from I-70 at the post road exit. Here we have a four bedroom, two bath house. It's actually a three story or a split level where the main floor is one story and the left side of the home is two story. Uh, the bottom story is a uh, fully finished sub basement. Um, the downstairs has a master suite and master bath and then there are three more traditional bedrooms upstairs with a main bathroom on that floor as well. We also as you can see have a one car attached garage and the ground's a little bit wet and muddy right now so I won't go around back. I think I can peek it, get a picture of the shed out back uh, through the back door. We'll go inside and take a look around. Uh, this home is right around 1,400 square feet. We have also uh, just installed new carpet uh, in all the carpeted areas of the house. As you can see, when we first come in, the uh, foyer here, the living area um, is hardwood laminate. We've got a nice window seat under a big, big window. We have uh, slightly vaulted ceilings in the living room, um, and actually a open wall uh, that divides the living room from the eating dining area as well as the kitchen area. Now, let's see, we'll circle around to give you a better scope of the front living area. So from here we have our eat-in dining area. So you can see we have a uh, large sliding glass door. Let me pull this back. I think we can see the shed from here. Yeah, um, there you go. Uh, standard size shed. I don't know what that is. Uh, maybe nine by 12 or something. Um, little mini barn. Then over here we have our kitchen appliances and our kitchen uh, cabinets above and below. We have cabinets above on the other side. And through this door here is our one car attached garage. This is a manually opening uh, power overhead uh, opener. And we'll go downstairs, actually we'll go upstairs to the smaller bedrooms first. So it's just a half a flight of stairs, upstairs. Immediately to our right is our bathroom. Typical bathroom amenities from a uh, tub. We do have a uh, medicine cabinet and a dressing mirror. Then uh, first bath or bedroom up here. That's a good size room, probably about 12 by 12. And likewise, we have a small walk-in closet. Uh, we have shelves that actually wrap around on all three walls. Let me turn some light on here and you can get a better idea. So, our next room, right here we have a linen closet. Our next room, we have actual laminate floors in this room. A little bit smaller. This room is uh, going to be about 10 by 9. Um, I'll see if I can get a better view of the size of this room. And a uh, little reach-in closet, shelves, typical closet amenities. And I don't know if you can tell, this carpet was actually just installed. Uh, they finished the installation yesterday. So we have new carpet, obviously the walls have been uh, uh, freshened up, painted, and this is our third bedroom upstairs. That's the smallest room, uh, probably, this is probably 10 by 9, a little smaller than the other one. The other one's 10 by 9 because it's kind of funny shaped with a cut in for the uh, closet. It's actually a little larger than that. This is more of a traditional 9 by 10 square. We actually have a fairly long closet here, and uh, a little box, I'm not sure 
what the, that might be for the heating ducts. Um, so a little place that you can make as a shelf, um, smaller hanging area back there above that shelving area. Now, to the downstairs. And, and this doesn't have to be used as a master suite. It does qualify as a master suite because uh, it does have a closing door. Um, there are uh, windows for emergency escape, closet down here, um, very large area. Now this would also make a fantastic game room, office, you know, a variety of things. Our closets behind this door. So you can see we've got a nice reach-in closet, good size. Um, and this room is wrapped in an L-shaped manner. Uh, that corner there on the other side is our mechanicals, our furnace and our water heater. Um, so this portion is probably, geez, maybe uh, 15, 16 by 10, maybe even a little bit longer. And then uh, the other portion of the L-shape would be another, oh, probably another eight or nine feet. Um, and then probably 12 more feet extending that way. So really a good size room. As I said, this room here is going to be our downstairs uh, mechanical room. Got access to water heater, furnace. We do have some extra furnace filters here. Um, our washer and dryer hookup is down here as well. Looks like we have a, see. yeah, there we go. We've got a electric dryer hookup. And is that three prong? Yeah, three prong. And lastly, we have our downstairs bathroom. Um, this is a little bit smaller. We have a stand up shower um, and uh, our normal bathroom amenities from vanity to the dressing mirror and so forth. Good stuff. That's pretty much the extent of 3510. Bearwood Court. Very nice house. Um, very nice location. And this house is immediately available. It became available today. And if this is the kind of property you're looking for, then we would encourage you to call our leasing agent at 317-484-8444. And leasing can be reached at extension 1. Uh, you can also check out all of our current listings as well as get more details to this property and our other properties and even view more video walkthroughs from our website at www.rpmindymetro.com as always we hope you enjoyed this video and we look forward to helping you find your next place to live